Good morning. Hello. Hi, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I have decided that at least on this particular Tuesday, in order to be indisputably not late, I shall press this button like a good minute early, just, just in case. How are you guys doing today? Um, don't mind me, it may look like I'm playing, but I'm really just, uh, well, I'm flying in a tree, but I'm also trying to get a couple of characters out to the entrance, so I spend a little bit less time early in the stream going, where am I going again? No promises, though. Kitty's here. Kitty, you want to come say hi? Yes, you do. What's up? Good morning, Mount Time. I have a feeling today is the day for the raptor. I hope you're right. <laughs> I could really go for a raptor today. Oh, hi, Seth Alexander. Hey, Hazel. Hey, Joker. How's life treating y'all? We, um, slightly damp, actually. We went for a walk this morning, as we do. And it was raining this morning, as it does. And uh, normally, if I've come home from a walk where it was raining, I will um, change my my pants out. But I didn't do that today, so I'm just hoping these ones dry. Kitty does not seem to mind. <laughs> she does not seem upset about the slightly damp sweatpants. Ah, hi, Hazel. Do you ever get so discouraged with empty-handed mount runs? Just go screw this. I'm out of here. No, I don't think so. I don't really, like, the point of doing a mount run for me is not the mount because that's an unreasonable expectation that, like, with the drop rates that they are. So I don't, I mean, the point of a mount run to me is to sit down on a Tuesday morning and have something to do with my hands while I hang, up, hang out with you guys. In that way, it's much like knitting. <laughs> or, like, you know, what, what other hobbies do people do when they just want to, like, do something while having a conversation you know some people uh cube some people do the rubik's cube thing how come the only two examples i can think of are knitting and rubik's cubes like video games i mean mount runs aside sometimes take too much focus like you want most of your focus left over for chatting anyways love the new wallpaper i'm glad that you like it i uh it's 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 i i, li I like those birds quite a lot have to catch you live. Been a while. Welcome, Jimmy. How you doing? You get the raptor. I got a feeling. How are you? Love the husky pupper cam. I am making my contribution to the the positive well-being of the world by showing off my dog. <laughs> it's usually a lot easier to just stick a camera on some fish, and I do do that more often than not. But he was being good and sleeping in his bed today, so I've decided to to have have puppy cam on my slightly damp dog at least until he decides to get up and leave which he does sometimes for no reason at all okay such a cutie i made my first gnome today after 14 years of wow well what did you make also what made you make it because that's a long time to be committed to something that would be like if five more expansions went by and i went you know what guys i'm gonna play a demon hunter <laughs> Okay, so ready for attempts number 233 through what's it gonna be like 245 Make 200 and something. Your life. Life. Ah! Your the first one? My oh, kitty, you're leaving. Feet. Okay, everybody who said it was happening today has some super juju. Well, now, well, now what am I going to do? I haven't even started my tea yet. Also, I would like to point out, confirm that you do not need to wait for him to get off his mount. This has been, this has been confirmed as fact. I'm not awake enough to be excited enough for this. <laughs> I was expecting to have more caffeine. Can I get, yeah, no, you can ride mats in here. Armored, Razashi. Well, this is just like my new thing now because it took so long to get. So that was attempt number 234. I guess I don't need attempts 250. Congrats, now I'm gonna go run it. Glad I was here to see it finally. How long was that? How long, let me, I'm gonna go pull up YouTube and like just scooch back through the live stream playlist until I can find a date for the first one that I look like I'm doing Zulgarub. Because I wanna know how many months we've been in here. Rats on drop streamer luck. Yes, this is, this is my streamer luck in full effect right now. Goodness. Well, thanks for the luck guys. Now I don't know what to do. <laughs> Caroline Rose, thanks for the super chat. OMG, perfect timing to watch the stream. I just started watching, so happy for you. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. I feel like I just graduated college unexpectedly, and now I'm like, I gotta get a job. I don't know. 
Um, Hazel's live stream vods. Hazel's WoW live streams. Apparently, I have two hundred and five WoW live streams in this playlist. Quite a few. Okay. Matt runs. Matt runs. Still in ZG. Matt runs. Still. Okay. So, Throne of the Four Wind, the Drake of the South Wind dropped. All right. So, my first Zulgrub Matt run was October 16th. Almost six months ago. We've spent almost half a year in Zulgarub. What, what, what do I do now? <laughs> I've gone through like four hair colors since then. I mean, obviously I ride it because it's magnificent. Um, um, well, I guess I'm going to go run Mogashan Vaults because... Elagon could drop his mount. And there's pets I need too. I guess I'll do that for now. Uh, Ezra, thanks for the super chat. Congrats on the mount. Now what? That's a very good question. <laughs> what mounts do you have left? Quite a few. Um, I don't have Mimiron's head, but I don't really want to farm it. <laughs> really putting that one off. So I'm probably going to pick a mop mount. If I can find one that I can do an individual character's run in, like, less than 10 minutes, that would be nice. Uh, like, assuming that I park all my alts out there, because I'm also going to have to move a bunch of characters. I moved my druid out there before I even started the stream, and now she doesn't even need to be out there. I feel silly. Um, yeah, if I can find a mount run that I can, like, front to finish do in less than 10 minutes so I can reasonably knock through, like, a whole bunch of them on one stream, I would prefer to do that. But I don't know if any of the mop ones are that fast to farm. Like, I think a lot of them require clearing large parts of the raid. I had the browser in the back. Oh, no. Sounds like a plan to me. I like Mogashan Vaults. It's a plan for now. Actually, I'm probably going to um, do Terrace of Endless Spring real quick just on my way over there because I still need a pet from that. Uh, the only two pets I need left for the Prandari Prandaria, for the Prandaria Roaring with Lurches, is going to be Comet, which is off of Elagon, and then the Windseeker off of Sulong. So I'm probably just going to knock through Terrace of Endless Spring real quick and see if I need any transmog from there, actually. You got a Mythic Plus chest? Oh yeah, I got to do that too. Mm. I do have a Mythic, Plus, a, myth, a Mythic Plus chest to open. I actually, I did something different with my Mythic Plus this week, so hang on. Uh, Terrace of Endless Spring. So that's normal. We have all the heroic stuff, so I'm going to do it on 25 player normal because I don't believe that affects the drop rate for the pet. But that will give me transmog that I still need. Also, eh, a little north. Uh, any clip of it dropping, I will, I'll edit together the clip later. Uh, YouTube does have a clip feature. I don't really understand how it works. I usually just download the stream bot and edit it properly and then upload it. Um, but yeah, I'll put that out. It's going to be, I'm, <laughs> I, I feel bad because I wasn't even awake yet. Nobody expects it on the first run of the day. I feel like that's even more unusual odds, despite the fact that it's been, it was like 234. Uh, I have the White Hawk Strider. I have the Raven Lord. I have almost all of the dungeon mounts, honestly. The only dungeon mount I can think of that I don't have, aside from the new ones that are BFA, is I don't have the Legion Kara horse mount. I do have the speed run mount, but I don't have the Legion Kara horse mount, but I'm not. You guys tried to talk me into doing that run, and I, like, got uh, lost, and then I died, and then I got mad, and then I left. <laughs> so I'm still not convinced that that's the run for me. Throne of Thunder's second boss. There's a couple of mounts from Throne of Thunder. The My concern is that um, it'll take too long to do them. If I end up in a position where I can only... Like, I can't just spam one boss over and over again like we did for Zolgarub. Then maybe instead I pick a couple of them and then I take my priest on, like, a tour of them. Um, that's a possibility. I don't know. I haven't had time to think about that. Uh, the loot add-on is called Manar's Wardrobe Helper. Spelled M-O-N-A-R. Apostrophe S. Wardrobe Helper. This is an add-on. I like it a lot. I'm not sure if it's been updated. Um, but it seems to work for me, so I've, I'm still using it. Just got Comet last night, now all I need is the Rage Link. Nice! Tried farming Shaw of Anger and people were camping it like crazy yesterday. It's definitely crazy, depending on your server, for sure. 
The add-on that opens the pop-up menu for add-ons uh, is like my latest favorite thing. It's called Mini Map Button Bag. Mini Map Button Bag. It might go by MBB, but it's awesome because I cannot stand a super cluttered mini map. So having having the slide out here is really really nice. I have the smoldering amber worm. Lucky day. It is a lucky day. I feel like I should try other risky things now. Although I'm not really that much of a risk taker, so I don't know what I would do. <laughs> Grats in advance on two mounts in a single stream if Elegon drops his mount. That would be a day. We had one of those days a long time, like a year or two ago. We had a two mounts in one day stream. Um, we got like the Blazing Drake and Lightfinder's Handmaiden or something. I don't know. We had a good day. LFR for Elegon, one or no... Yeah, that's true. LFR for Elegon will get you right there. So I guess, does he drop the mountain LFR, though? That's that's my question. That's Well, that's my new question. I'm sure I have many questions. I did get the raptor. I'm having a... I'm having a... a existential mat run crisis now. <laughs> because I can't decide what to do. So I'm just running... I'm just trying for... Um, uh, that mount that I didn't get. Okay, so I didn't get that. I think I still might need transmog from here. Do I want to finish it, Lishi? I'll do Lishi, but then after that I can leave. Although, by the time you've done Lishi, you can, like, kill Shaw real quick, and you get decent gold just off of the, um... You get decent gold just from vendoring all the stuff. But happy Shaw, anyone got it? I'm trying. I've seen a bunch of people with them. Um, people that want the happiness Shaw more than... More than anything else, just I think they're just buying the pets on the auction list because at this point, the new rating with Leisha's pets, I haven't seen any of them that cost more than 10k. A lot of them are down to like 2k. They're pretty cheap, at least on my server. So you could always, you could always just buy the extras that you need. I'm just being really stubborn about it. Uh, I just got the Raptor. I haven't gotten anything else yet. Somebody was just, uh, somebody was just uh, speculating that it could be a, a two for a day, which. <laughs> I think it's a little much to ask for. Got Gmod while watching your last VOD. Congrats. Has it even been two weeks into spring and it snowed four to five inches here today? Considering it didn't snow here at all winter, makes me wonder what happened. Weather is weird, man. It's a weird, weird weather. Although I, it's been very typically springy around here. It's just like warm and rainy and I'm okay with warm and rainy. I can deal with warm and rainy as long as I don't have to wear my mitts anymore. Uh, he does not drop it in LFR. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Normal and above. Well, that doesn't that doesn't help. Um, I'll have to I'll have to Google it. Kara's easy farm, twenty percent drop rate at minimum. I have to go. Oh no, I have the I I have the um the ember worm mount. I have the speed run mount. Uh, it's the uh, huntsman's mount that I'm missing. That one's definitely not a twenty percent drop rate. I realize RNG is random, but I farmed the bat and the mule a bunch of my three lions tunes. The first time I killed them on my horde, it dropped. Wonder if action can affect RNG. I very much doubt it. I don't know everything, but I would be very surprised. Randomness is just very random sometimes. Uh, you did a stream on Thursday. Can't see it in the live stream playlist. Maybe it doesn't work when you don't publish it. Um, let me double check. Because I did, yes. It should be there. The thumbnail has like purple boxes behind the text because I made one. Extra mat runs, March 28th. March 28th. Is that what you said? Yeah. Video? It should be. Uh, unlisted. It's in the playlist, so I will have to double check around later to see if there's anything else I can do. I'll, I'll like, find some devices where I'm and log out of them and then see if I can find it. Because maybe it's only showing it to me because it's my account. Which would be something that I would need to fix. Okay. Um, also, it would explain why they don't get that many views if nobody can watch them. Okay, so Mogashan Vaults. Uh, I guess I can just run out of here. Hazel, so glad I've caught your stream live. Very rare I do. Welcome, Rebecca. You cannot get the Mountain LFR. Alright, bummer. I will, uh... Yeah. 
I'm gonna time it actually. When I get over there, I'm gonna time to see how quickly. I guess I'm on my priest too. A lot of my characters are 110, so they might be a little bit slower getting to the Pandaria stuff. They'll still have like the the you are higher than this content level bonus, but it won't be quite as much. Although I am starting to level them. <laughs> and you know what it is actually? It's the weirdest motivation for leveling my alts. But follow, try and try and follow me here. This is a it's kind of dumb. Um, so. I, on my priest, am finally starting to get my combat followers up to legendary, which unlocks an extra equipment slot. And the first equipment slot is the 5% chance whetstone, which we got for order resources or whatever. Um, and that's fine. And I didn't want to get rid of that. So as I unlocked the second slot, I wanted to add disenchanting rods because I had heard that those actually give, when they do proc mass, they give quite a few. So I want to eventually get one on each character. But these things are super expensive. Um, they're like 50 to 70k each in my server. And while maybe, maybe, maybe that pays off over time, I'm not convinced that it does. So um, I'm trying to craft them. And the problem with crafting them is that they require 30 expulsive. And I'm an enchanter. I disenchant stuff, which doesn't give you expulsive at all. So I've very recently looked into like expulsive drop rates and realize that it's about the same rate no matter what you scrap. So I'm trying to just get my hands on lots of green gear to scrap to try and farm expulsive to make more of these things. And uh, I don't want to buy the green gear because even though it's essentially worthless, it still sells on the auction house for like 100 plus gold a piece and I want like a ton of it and I'm very cheap. So... I'm thinking as I level characters and they get, like, as you're just killing stuff out in the world. So world questing is another good way to do it. Sometimes I'll just take my priest and I'll do every world quest I can do that gives, like, blue gear. And then scrap the blues and then also scrap any greens that dropped while I was, out along, the, while I was, while I was along the way. That's a sentence. Um, but leveling is also another great way to get a bunch of greens that you don't need. So um, the BOB one specifically because I can send those over. The voice of that boss creeps me out. Yeah, the Leishi voice. I don't usually... I, I mostly just turn sound on for the stream. I don't often play with it otherwise. Unless I know there's going to be like really good voice acting. But that one's a little... little spooky. You missed the first five minutes of a stream. You miss out on a lot. Apparently. Usually that's not the case at all. But apparently today is just the day. Also, it's pet battle bonus event. So this isn't going to be what's happening in today's stream. Because today is still a Mount Run stream. Uh, which difficulty do I need to run this one on? Mogashan Vaults. Uh, I need three appearances from Normal, and I need three appearances from Heroic, so I'm just going to do 25 Heroic for now. Uh, and maybe Elagon will give me something. It could happen. I wasn't expecting the snow at all. I wore shorts and tennis shoes. I fell twice. Oh dear. Uh, haste crit on your priest. I'm finding my single target DPS isn't great. Tips increasing single target DPS. Uh, my haste is 20%. My crit's 24%. Uh, my trick for single target DPS is I don't stress about it too much. I'm, I'm, I'm in my lazy mode now. I like, I try for a couple of weeks during progression, like leading up to progression. And then maybe a week or two of farm. And then I just like give up and tune out until the next patch. So, I don't really know. I if, if I feel like my damage is off, I'll check the Warcraft Priest Guide to see if I'm doing my rotation wrong or if there's like a talent I need to check out. But in single target, it's pretty much just like the single target talents I take. Um, I'll do Twist of Fate, Auspicious Spirits. And the gist of it is just... Hey, I got an extra Stone Claw. It's not what I'm here for, but I'll take it. Uh, the gist of it is just, uh, don't, you know, get as long void forms as you can and get back into as fast as you can. Uh, what do you usually run for mounts? Well, for the last six months or so, we've been running Zilgarub for the Raptor, and it finally, finally, finally dropped. So now we don't know what to do. Um, I'm checking for Elegon, but I'm not convinced this is going to be, like, my every Tuesday mount run. I just need the, um, I also need the pet right now, so that kind of helps. Morning, Squirrel Squad. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Sup, Softy. Uh, the home page on the home tab under of my page under the wild live streams is the third video extra met runs. Okay, so you can't see it. I wonder if it only shows up on my channel page and not in the playlist. That would be interesting. 
Um, I saw the Thursday stream of the playlist. I think it was out of order. It would be out of order, I think. I, I added it at an odd time. We have disturbed. I hope the 8.2 PTR goes up this week. I could also, eh, I, I could, I could wait one more week. I could use one more week to finish some stuff that I'm, that I've been stuck on for ages, and then I could use the 8.2 PTR. They got me though. The Wowhead April Fools joke, super got me. I 110% fell for it. Um, if you guys missed it, Wowhead tweeted a, an 8.2 data mining post that had Lightforged Undead in it with like models that looked very realistic. And I they super got me with that because one, usually when like WoW does um, like April Fool's patch notes, they do the thing that they actually did, which is like 8.6 do not release, like very clearly not new patch notes that we're waiting for. Like 8.2 data mining could theoretically come out. It's very plausible. Then Lightforged Undead is a plausible thing to be on the 8.2 PTR. Um, I mean, it would be a little surprising because I don't think they're planning on the allied races, but you know, they could they could throw us a curveball. It's like not super out of left field. It's not like they they said Murloc allied race. And then thirdly, when the post came out, it was still like not even kind of late on the 31st. It wasn't even a little bit April Fool's yet. Obviously in my time zone. I understand there's more time zones in mine, but Pacific time is not a weird out of the way time zone. It's where Blizzard is. It's where a lot of things is. A lot, a lot. <laughs> I, 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 I super fell for it. It was really embarrassing. Um, finally hit 800 unique pets and I'm really hyped. Congrats. That means you get your, your rooter, right? Uh, how many expansions to get us to level 150? We might not see level 150. They might come up with some kind of a level squish solution before then. Could happen. Hazel, hi peeps. What's up, Adam? Did I miss the drop? I rewinded and watched it. That's awesome. Congrats, Hazel. Thanks, Shurizen. <sighs> The 8-2 stuff was ridiculously bad. I mean, I think it depends on how you look at it. I thought it was a very... I guess if, if the point is to prank people and get their hopes up, it worked great. Because it's... I thought it was uh, plausible. Obviously, there are people that saw through it more quickly, but... Um, they got me. But I'm not... I'm still... I guess I'm... Am I salty? I guess I'm just embarrassed. <laughs> also, I wanted it, so it got my hopes up. And then when I found out that it really was an April Fool's joke, I felt both stupid for falling for it and sad that it wasn't actually a thing so it didn't feel good but i guess that's the whole point of pranks and kind of just reaffirms why i really hate april fools um it was yeah it was super march 31st like if it was like 11 p.m or like even 10 p.m it would have been kind of close enough that it'd be like well okay but it was like eight o'clock give me volpera just got rooter congrats got the mount i did i'm how many mounts do i have now actually i guess that's only one more uh, 421 total. We'll get an avian race? Do you think it'll be like, um... Oh, I get Do you think it'll be like the... Terror... What, what are they called? The terror... You know, terror... Arakoa, that's the word I'm looking for. Do you think it'll be like the Arakoa? Or like the... The ones that we... Like the Arakoa from Warlords? Or... There were like the skinnier, taller ones that look closer to the Zandalari form. Hang on, I, I think I have to talk to Cho still. Maybe it'll be maybe it'll be like those ones that were in that. Man, Spearbinder just keeps talking. I killed you a while ago. I fell for it too. It was very sad. I'm glad it wasn't just me. Got my husband too. I was like, what is today? But it wasn't today yet. Uh, was your hair color Shadow Priest inspired, Hazel? Love it. Uh, kind of. Originally, the original purple, because we've been through a few different shades, but the original purple was inspired by Void Elves. Uh, void Elves were just being released, and I wanted Void Elf hair, so I dyed it way too dark. Um, but this... Yeah. I mean, I was going to be a Void Elf Shadow Priest, so it's kind of shadowy. I was looking online, actually, at earrings, because I've been wearing the same, like, like sensitive ear hoops in my ears for like 10 years like I haven't moved them for ages because they're just in there and that's fine and you know you don't have to worry about it but I was wondering if I should wear if I would enjoy wearing earrings again and I was like looking at these tentacle ones that were like very very old gaudy I'm gonna turn off dialogue because Cho is very chatty and it's breaking my brain 
maniacal ruler can you, to ever abuse the Imperial can you, King. Hang on, that's graphics. Thank you. There we go. Oh boy. I despise April Fools, glad there's someone else that doesn't love Disappointment Day. I don't mind it when there's just like the blizzard ones I think are always really cute because they're they're just funny and they're obviously not legit. Like when they release the update to translate their website into Nurglish for Murlocs or the like the, the the fake patch notes they put out, those are just silly. I enjoy those. But I uh <laughs> after after the wow thing after I clued into the wow thing, I just said, you know, I should probably put my phone down and Go do something else, because this is not working for me. Would you prefer two new races with their own quests and leveling zones instead of the current eight allied races? Like, we have to give up all eight that we have now, but we get two new ones with quests and zones? No way. Absolutely not. The questing and the zones are something that you, you that I do, at least, like, once. And it's cute, but it's not an important part of the new race experience to me. I would rather have all of these different options. Necromancer class when? I mean, you could go play a Death Knight. They have some specifically necromancy-like abilities, but they're definitely not, I don't think, the caster you're looking for. Uh, next baking stream, I'm going to announce the date after the poll comes in. I posted the poll a little late, so it'll be like this weekend. Um, the voting will finish, so if you are a Patreon supporter, you can still vote um, currently on the recipes. I dug up and dusted off my Hearthstone Innkeeper's Tavern cookbook, and I want to try some of the desserts from there, so I put some of those on the as options. It's a while ago. Uh, you were talking about dyeing your hair green. I did it. It wasn't hard to replace the color. Went from green to pink, no problem. I Now that I'm I'm comfortable with with my my hair artist i feel like we could do pretty much whatever we wanted to i'm just really feeling purple right now like i could i could be purple for this whole year and then maybe do like green next year or do like pink again next year or you know whatever i just don't want to change it too often but i'm down i'm down for something different once in a while Silly and obvious ones, yeah, the other stuff, not so much. I'm just easy, I'm kind of naive. I'm a little naive, I'm a little gullible, I'm easy to prank. Uh, so, it's just, you know. <sighs> Doesn't take too much to get me. Blizzard announced Bards as a class in 2007 as an April Fool's joke, legit bummer. <laughs> really hope we go back to the old new race style again in between allied races. I was going to assume that's what was going to happen, but then with culture and humans, they really, like, did the whole thing. You know, I thought allied races were always going to be just, like, original models. Like, models that we already had just kind of um, re-skinned a little bit or re-rigged, like, a little bit. But culturans are brand new. And then, um, and then like, the posture on the Zandalaria trolls and... and I don't know. Actually, do Zandalari use the same animations as regular trolls? I don't know. But they they did they did the whole new thing, so I don't know. You want snake people? I think that ship's probably sailed. I think you might be out of luck on that one. I will say, whenever I look at that loading screen, there's like a BFA loading screen that has a Seth rack like front and center. And whenever I look at that, the only thing I can look at is he has this like tube inside of his mouth that is presumably for spitting poison at you. And that is like the scariest thing of that whole drawing. <laughs> Happy to see you in this dungeon now. I did it last weekend and it was bugged. Bugged? What kind of bug? That sucks. Alright. Fingers crossed, although... I don't have high hopes. I guess I could have some hopes for the pet. You know, that would be nice. Any streamers you would suggest watching? I am very out of the loop. Um... I haven't watched streamers in a while. I know Hero streams sometimes, and then every once in a while, I don't know what day it is, but every once in a while, Taliesin and Evatel will do a Twitch stream. I think it's mostly Taliesin, and those are fun. But I, I've barely seen them, mostly because I'm, I'm trying very hard to, uh, to focus on things that I want to do and not get distracted. But I get distracted incredibly easily. So the only thing I can really do is like actually cut off my access to things that are distracting for me, which is a lot of things. And Twitch is one of them. 
Um, there's there's a lot of them. I have very I have very little self control. And uh, no, <laughs> the 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 looting lagged and it gave me some hope for a second, but that's uh, not what we're after there. Elegon, Stone Guard. Okay, so I don't need any transmog from the last boss. Although he could drop a pet, so I'm gonna kill him anyways. Just in case. A lot of people forget to hit the pipes in the last boss. I definitely had to Google that. I was definitely in here on Heroic 25 the first time that I tried it on Heroic, and I was like, why won't this boss start? And I looked it up and apparently I had to break some pipes. That's the trachea. Snakes breathe out of it. That's their trachea? I guess I've never looked inside of a snake mouth. It's like all the way up there. It looks like they could shoot darts out of it. Snakes keep their tongues? Oh. I don't know enough about snakes. Uh, favorite mount. I like the Lucid Nightmare. I like the Lucid Nightmare quite a lot. It's up there. It's called a Glottis. <laughs> I'm learning so many snake facts today. How are you doing, Zandalari Rep? I got halfway last night, realized fully how long it's taking. I'm kind of taking a break. I got my, so I got my horde character finished leveling. And then I've been kind of, like, scraping her little bits of gear here and there. She doesn't need much, just enough to, like, do quests and not feel like she's useless. Um, so that pipes. We gotta break the pipes on the side here. But, um, people kept asking me when I was gonna level my Cult Turan, and I felt bad that I'd already, uh, put it on pause for long enough to level that other unrelated thing. So I'm, I'm leveling my Cult Turan now instead. Uh, don't forget to tap on Helicon's corpse. Oh, dear. Um, Horde are welcome to the little fox people. Give alliance the snakes. I feel like that's how it would go because, um, the alliance work like that's the alignment that they have as, uh, just like races out in the world, right? But doubt it. Love to see Saber on. I have a pet snake named Noodle. That is a very good snake name. I had one of those weird fish nightmares last night, as I often do, about a fish ending up in my tank that is not safe to have with my other fish. And this one, his his name was Squidgy Bob. That wasn't the name of the fish type, but the fish type was something imaginary that I had dreamed up. And Squidgy Bob looked like, I didn't know how he got in the tank. I assumed that he got in there as like a micro microscopic particle and then just grew into a fish. I don't know. It was a dream. It's a weird dream. And... Squidgy Bob looked like a blobfish, except that he also had, like, five, uh, sort of, like, tubes coming out of him. Kind of like starfish tendrils, but they were straight all along, like cylinders, and they had, like, thumpers on the end of them. And Squidgy Bob would sit on the bottom of the sand and get underneath it, and then he would, like, thwap up with his thumpers to try and catch a fish, sort of like a bobbit. Uh... And I was really scared that he was going to catch all my fish. So I was trying to, like, get Squidgy Bob out and get him into a bag so I could, like, take him to a fish store or something so I could find somebody that wanted to give Squidgy Bob a home. Um, but then uh, I was also traveling, and I couldn't find a bucket that I was convinced was safe because you don't want to use the same buckets that people have cleaned with. And I was, like, for whatever reason, in a hotel. And also my hotel room was on a boat, and then it was stormy, so the boat wasn't very stable. Strange dreams. A ball python, her tongue is super cute. I would love to meet somebody else's snake. I would love to visit somebody that owns a snake because I I don't think that I want one. Also, uh, have I... Did I not break all the pipes? I thought I broke all the pipes. Did I miss some? Yeah, I missed one. Two. But I would like to meet somebody else's snake just to find out if it weirds me out or not, I guess. Also, they do look cute. Uh, do you do more endgame or leveling in BFA? I go back and forth. I'm on a leveling kick right now because I've kind of gotten fed up with how unleveled all of my alts are. But um, up until a couple of weeks ago, I was exclusively doing endgame stuff. Lots of world quests. Um, tons of world quests. And then Mythic Plus. Oh yeah, I was gonna, I, I need to, after this, um, check my Mythic Plus cache. I was going to tell you guys. I Also, does this graphics thing happen for any of you guys? I reported this as a bug, but I, it's occurred to me. I don't know if it's not intended or not. Um, it happens specifically after you kill the Titan Sparks, and it's really fr like it's it's bad. <laughs> I'm gonna actually put us into chatting stream so it's smaller, just so I don't hopefully um, upset anybody that's got like light sensitivities. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. That happens to me too. I thought my graphics card was gonna die. Yeah, something's up with this, and you'd think that they would know about it because everybody's running this raid because there's a there's a new pet that drops off this boss. 
And it's happened every single time, so it's not like a weird niche thing. Never saw that when I was running this. Weird does not happen to me. It must be certain graphics cards. It must be specific. I, well, I, I guess I don't know that it must be certain graphics cards, but that is one variable that it could be. Uh, you can see my snake. His name is Pepper, and he's a mini snake. What kind of snake is he? Do you keep a dream journal? I started keeping one recently. I reckon our dreams mean more when we understand. I don't keep a dream journal. It would be some weird stuff. Um, I also personally don't believe... I used to think that my dreams meant stuff, but then I had like a lot of dreams about something strange. And then I realized that most of what I dream about is just stuff that I've been worrying about. Um, and uh, I'm not... I don't worry about it too much. But... They're kind of fun sometimes. I definitely remember a lot more dreams than, than some people I know. Or maybe they do remember their dreams, they just don't want to share them. But usually almost every night I'll have a couple. Amir, thanks for the super chat. Hey Hazel, finally able to catch a stream. I wanted to ask you, what do you do to not get discouraged by all the negative opinions about WoW? So the easiest way is, first of all, if you feel confident in your own opinion, then you will, um, if you feel confident in your own opinion, then you're less likely to be upset by somebody else's point of view because you know that like if you you know you're, you're you're rooted in what you think and you know what you think so you don't have to worry about whether or not you're supposed to change your mind and then secondly if it's bumming you out figure out where most of it's coming from and then just don't look at that <laughs> like if you if you always read the forums and the forums upset you or you're, you're on reddit all the time you're on twitter or whatever and all you're seeing is a bunch of negative stuff either unfollow or change the specific parts of it that you read or just like take a break from it um, I went through a whole phase of getting really depressed by political news and I've been a lot better lately not because the political climate is any better but because I stopped reading the news and that's not necessarily the best thing for democracy but I'm an immigrant I can't even vote <laughs> you know so the best thing for me to do is stick my head in the sand and try not to let it ruin, ruin my whole day you know Do you drink coffee? I know you're really into your tea, but the wonderful black liquid. I don't drink coffee, actually. I don't, I'm not, like, against it. I don't turn it down if it's offered to me. I just don't usually enjoy it unless it's been, like, obliterated with milk and sugar. At which point, is it really coffee anymore? Um, I've had some, like, fancy coffees that people that are, that are coffee people with their, their fancy French presses and artisanal stuff. I've had some of that, and that's quite nice. But I don't care enough to have it. And also, I don't have a huge tolerance for caffeine. I, I, I have a caffeine addiction, clearly. But I don't... I can't, like, drink energy drinks or just slam a bunch of coffee because it'll, it'll freak me right out. So, instead, tea is, like, a more manageable level for me. It's still caffeinated, but not quite as much. Okay, so I'm going to do my cash, I guess. I'm going to go open my cash. Oh, yeah, I keep... I keep starting the story and then getting distracted and telling you a different one. I actually healed my Mythic Plus key this week. Um, I had a... I healed a Temple of Sethrilis 11. And then a Freehold... No, and then a Wake Rest 10. Uh, as, as Holy on this priest with these trinkets. Because these are the ones that I have. And you know, they do stuff. They're not like completely useless when you're healing. Um, I have a couple of pieces of Azurite gear I swapped in. I don't know if they have the right traits on them. But they have healing traits on them. And it went just fine. It was actually, it wasn't quite fun. I wouldn't say it was fun, but it did feel good to be providing a useful service to my friends and allow them, like, allow my healer friends to take their DPS ult through, that kind of thing. So I didn't hate it. I might do it again. I wouldn't do it in raid. Um, but what am I doing? I'm looking for my cash. The only news I get is from one radio show. Most are too, too partisan. Uh, negative opinions about WoW. <laughs> I live in denial would be my answer. Yeah. Um, I did get the Raptor. What will you be farming now? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I should look at my simple armory. Let's see what's in here first. I am from Canada, yes. Okay. Um, like stone is an underrot 10. Fortified. Sanguine. Grievous. Reaping. Yeah, maybe. Um, and then my hands, I got some bacon grabbers. 410. Current and versatility, but I do have a socket. I think they're, I think they're better because they have a socket. I like a good socket. 
I don't like versatility, but I'll take a good socket. I'll worry about that later. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try, well, if I'm gonna run Mogashan Vaults on more characters for Elegon, then that might also get me comments. So I guess I should log over and try it on some more characters. I have one of those obliterated copies right here. Nothing wrong with them. Drink your beverages in whatever way makes you happy. Um, I it's the only way I can drink them. I'm just, uh, just like my tea. You got the profession mounts? Which ones? Uh, my only professions, like I have the old jewel crafting panthers. The only professions I have on this character are enchanting and herbalism. To my knowledge, neither of which have mounts. Missed the drop, congrats. Wish I was here to see you get the raptor, just got back from work. You can scroll the VOD back, I think, to check it out, and I will, um, I'll publish the clip, although I wasn't fully awake yet, so it's not the most exciting reaction, but it did happen. I did get my raptor in this stream. Uh, Pawn will help you with gear upgrades. The problem with Pawn, like, I have Pawn. I've done video tutorials on Pawn, also. I have this, this, she's right outside the dungeon, she's ready to go, I don't even need it anymore. Um... The problem with Pawn is I have to actually keep getting updated stat weights for it, and I'm lazy. Uh, also, I'm not sure that Pawn takes um, sockets into account. I'm not convinced that they do. You'd think they would by now. Uh, where am I going? Mogashan Vaults. So. Here. You got him so happy for you? Thanks. Quite exciting. You've unlocked all the alliance races, the horde races, done flying, and done all the BFA stuff. That's a lot of wow. With all the negative opinions, I recognize that while most people are rightfully annoyed, I'm still having fun, so I stick to myself and have fun. I think that's where I'm at. It's also, that's a very healthy point of view to have. People, like, a lot of the criticisms that people have, they're valid criticisms. It doesn't get you anywhere to just say, well, everything's fine, and those people are just mean, and... You know, that doesn't, that's not constructive, and invalidating people's opinions isn't a very cool thing to do. You just don't have to agree with them. You can respect somebody's point of view without sharing it yourself. Uh, taking the portal to Stormont. It does? Sockets are a PNBFA. and BFA? Yeah, that's why I'm thinking that even, even with all that verse, it's probably going to be better. Any advice leveling alts? Item level at about 335. If you're about 335, you should be starting to see some higher item level pieces from world quests. That's like right about where I am on my my new horde mage. So world quests, world bosses, killing rares in Arathian Darkshore, do time walking when time walking rolls around, do the warfront when the warfront's available to queue. Um, and then, you know, dungeons if you can if you can get into some. Dungeons in LFR. Uh, are you high enough for LFR yet? Maybe not. Maybe not. Can I fly there? Do I have a flight path? That would be nice. Man. All of the architecture in Pandaria was just so pretty. This whole expansion was just so lovely. I do not have the Mimiron mount. And I don't play Horde much, but I did recently level a character on Horde side to get access to some achievements and some pets and quests and stuff like that. A lot of things that people are annoyed about is the end game gear grind, which I don't participate in. That part I get less, just because there's so many different sources of gear. The the biggest complaint I've heard about the end game gear grind is that it's too easy, and you get your gear, and then you're like, well, now what? Um, I haven't heard about like there's there's just so many different avenues of getting gear, and I feel like there's a good difficulty spread. You know, you've got your solo world stuff that will get you to a pretty decent level if you keep doing it. As you get more gear, the, the rewards from world quests and from emissary boxes and whatnot will continue to increase. So you can do pretty well off that. And then there's just so many different places that you, you get your stuff. Doing LFR high is a great idea. Oh, boy. Love your vids and streams. Super happy you're Canadian like me. Raid bots takes a sock into account by adding 15. Is it really worth 15 item levels? Dang. I've definitely gotten rid of a couple of pieces that were item level downgrades that were um that add sockets just because i didn't want to put on if it's like an item level downgrade with poorer stats i don't care if it sims higher it's just it feels gross to put it on what's been favorite expansion so far i really loved cataclysm 
And I don't care if people think I'm wrong. That's just the one that I liked most. Because that was, like, my golden years. I was, like, in Cata, I was in, like, late... I was, like, graduating high school. So I was just starting university. And then I had dropped out of university at a certain point. I think that was still Cata. That might have been MOP at that point. Um, but I, uh, you know, I was young. I was... Was I unattached? I might have been unattached. I had a lot of time. And even time that I didn't have, I was putting into WoW anyways. So, I, I really dig Kata. Beef with gears that there isn't anything special anymore? Like you don't, you miss the tier sets, or you miss legendaries, or... Because I was actually really excited um, this week at my Mythic Cache. I got an upgraded version of my set back. I like those little two-piece sets that they do. I'm wearing the one that you get out of Battle of Bizarre Lore. That has like the ring. I put up my finger while I said ring just so you know what a ring is. Uh, I had the ring and then the cloak. Um, and it gives you extra main stat while you're in Battle of Dazar Lore and just Zoldazar in general. And I got an upgraded version out of my... Actually, no, it wasn't out of my cash. It was out of the um, the weekly event box. I got a Titanforged uh, cloak out of that. Awesome. It was 15 atom levels up of the same thing I was wearing. I was super excited about that. I played Kata with my son. Loved Kata. They added a bunch of really amazing stuff in Kata. Like, Kata had a couple of problems. Probably had more than a few, but, you know, I was new enough that I didn't really understand whatever people were complaining about. I was just, like, I was just so overjoyed that my battle pets, which weren't even battle pets at that point. They were just vanity pets. They, they couldn't battle until mop. But my pets were account-wide. That was mind-blowing to me because I, up until that point... I had continued switching mains because I was a terrible altaholic, and I was restarting my pet collection every single time I would switch characters. Uh, do I want to do this in this difficulty? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, so, like, I farmed that red, that crimson whelpling three times? Two or three times? At least twice. Um, the deviant hatchling was another one that I farmed a whole bunch of times. And just being able to just get a pet and then know that I had it was amazing. Also, transmog, you know. Kata brought us transmog. That was pretty cool. <laughs> How many expansions left in WoW? Blizzard says yes. I think it's good to have a, to have a, like, I don't know. I don't think they need to have an exit plan. <laughs> as long as they, they're confident in their ability to continue delivering content and taking the story in different places. I don't think it needs to have, like, an expiration date. Heaven knows that older MMOs are still going with much less attention and care. Like, you know, you still got RuneScape kicking around. I don't know if it was official servers or not, but I swear I saw my husband log into Asheron's call at one point. <laughs> there's, there's older stuff in this. Uh, oh, yeah, I can just pull them. That's nice. Bye, cat. Cat mm. was the first X-Pack I played, so the world changing didn't matter to me. It's great. I ex loved exploring the world and seeing the craziness it was raiding because I was young, too. I had a wonderful time in the raids because that was like my first guild raiding experience and um, the questing I remember being awesome too. I remember being just so like immersed as I was leveling up my characters going through Vashir and going through Oldham and and doing like Oldham is one of my favorite questing zones to do. I had the best pet of all time, Mr. Grubbs. Started in Wad. I don't care if people think it's the worst expansion. It's special to me, but Legion is my favorite expansion. There is a lot of good stuff about Wad. They they did they've done a lot of great things in a lot of expansions. It's just especially with the way that internet media works, it's easy to lose the good things in the sea of negative press. Sometimes, I think BFA has added so many things that will stand up for a long time, like things that people are going to be going back to BFA to farming. Same with Legion, you know, people are going back to Legion to do class mounts, to get weapon appearances, um, to get, to get, like, pets and achievements and toys and stuff, and I think BFA is going to be huge for that, because they added so many collectibles from such a wide range of things to do. You know, they're, like, some of them are just drops, some of them are weird achievements, some of them are find something out in the world, some of them are, like, find a thing and talk to a lady and get a letter and then, like, do this daily quest for a bee six times in a row, like, there's, there's so many different ways to get all these little cute hidden things. Like, the, the chicken at a Waycrest Manor is one of, it's one of those things that people say, oh, WoW doesn't do cool stuff like this anymore because the magic's gone, you know. But they do still do it. People just don't notice or, I don't know, forget. 
care horse mount is the BC one. 100% drop. Wait a minute. Care horse mount of the BC one. So neither, as far as I know, neither care horse is 100% drop. I have the old one. I don't have the new one, and I do have the amber worm. Uh, thanks for your guides. I was able to get the elusive nightmare, uh, male elemental, sun darter, and other pets I missed in one week. Do you plan on making more soon? So yes and no. I do plan on making more. Soon is hard with me. <laughs> I, my overall rate of video production has fallen drastically and I'm working on it, but it's, it's not looking good. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold your breath. I still haven't done a ball guide and I'm still deciding if I'm going to. It, it, I, I probably will because I'm going to have to do ball for myself eventually anyways. So it wouldn't hurt to throw together a guide for it. It just, uh, it would just be monumentally late. Uh, probably already answered this, but will you try WoW Classic? Probably not really. Um, I did the demo, and I, like, even before the demo, I wasn't really planning on playing Classic. I like retail a lot, and I don't fancy the prospect of having my attention split between different versions of WoW. Um, so, not for me. Sundered or Hatchling, I still need another 20 or so for my Perky Pug. Hazel, I watched you for a while, just recently got into WoW. Any tips for farming raw gold? Nothing sells. So, if nothing sells, like, no if you can't even sell herbs on your server, then it's going to be tough. For just generating gold, that's one of the things that they really sat on in BFA. They really tightened that up. It used to be better, it's not great anymore. Um, the best way that you can just generate gold without having to depend on other players is grinding reputation for the... Paragon rep catches, those have 4k gold in them each, so specifically 7th Legion and Honorbound. I've opened like 25 of those on my Priest. You can grind a lot of rep with that. If you look at my service metal farming guide, that will have rep tips for that those reps. So you grind the rep, and then you, um, and then the other one is if there is a emissary that offers gold, those are worth 2k each, and if you have like a bunch of alts, then you can do that, but pretty much every other gold making method relies on the auction house and other players, but at the very least to like sell herbs and, and ore that you've mined, for example. But if that's not working for you, then your options are limited. Uh, did you get the two sides to every tail mount? I just got mine, and the horse is much better than the wolf, even though I play lights. I don't have it yet. It's gonna be a little bit for me. I'm taking a little break from my horde character. Um, I'm gonna sit on that for a little bit while I finish leveling my culture and human, I think. Do you remember what your first vanity pet was? It was the green wing macaw in Dead Mines. Old Dead Mines. Um, it, was, it was Wrath of the Lich King. I had just reached level like 42. And I was very proud of being level 42, which wasn't level cap yet, but I was new. Give me a break. I was very proud of being level 42, and I was like, man, I'm such a high level. I bet I can go back and solo that dungeon. So I did. And then the pet dropped on like the first dungeon that I soloed and I was asking around at what it was and my friends told me I could sell it. And it's like, well, what happens if I use it? And they're like, well, you get a parrot. And I'm like, a parrot? So I, I kept it and uh, that was my first pet. It started a <laughs> rather long obsession, I might say. Uh, the classic demo video was hilarious. It was, uh, I think polarizing is the right word for that one. Hella gold for selling gear from old raids. That's actually a good point too. Um, these mop raids are pretty easy to solo, and they the gear that drops is pretty valuable. Plus, you could get the pets, which you might want for you, or maybe you can sell them, but I'm um, just vendoring the gear. I usually get a couple thousand gold from, from all my runs. Fire lanes, they nerfed. Um, it is still going to give you some gold, but they definitely nerfed the direct gold drop from bosses as well as the... Um, they nerfed the direct gold from bosses, and they also nerfed the vendor prices of the gear, so it's not quite as good. Hazel Mount Run stream will be different after ZG ended. Do you raid? Not currently. Um, our raid group has taken a break. We finished Battle of the Tsar lore, so we're ahead of the curve. We did, we cleared Haruk, and now we're just chilling until a Crucible of Storms comes out, and we're probably only going to do that for like a month, and then just like chill until 8.2. We're a fairly casual guild. We only raid two nights a week when we are raiding, and we take long breaks. Which is fine by me, because um, it's nice to raid, and it's also nice to have some extra time. Well, that was more of a collecting game. Classic is going to be more RPG. Both are fine. I think there's more to WoW than just collecting. There's just a lot of collecting that you could do. I have, 
I have guildies that don't collect anything at all, which is nice because then when they get stuff, they just give it to me. But um, they seem to get by just fine. My first pet was the prairie dog pet. First pet was the hawk owl from Darnassus. How many more pets do you need? Uh, I enjoy that you could read that question in a couple different ways. Like you could say, how many more pets do you need until you have all of them? And they're just like, how many more pets until this madness stops? Uh, I'm in the 1,066 unique pets right now. I'm missing like 11 or so of the island expedition pets. And then I'm missing some horde pets. And a couple of... A couple of miscellaneous ones. I want to do the achievement for Mimi sometime on stream. It shouldn't be very hard. Um, it should be a pretty easy achievement to get. But um, I haven't got it yet. So maybe on Friday's stream we can we can do that we just need to do mythic zero uh king's rest and then like two of us will stand on in a certain spot while we pull the boss for a little bit until we like unlock a tomb or something should be really easy but yeah i need more i can probably get to like almost 1100 before i actually can't get any more because there's still a bunch of really easy stuff in here that i just haven't haven't done The Twilight Drake? I have the Twilight Drake. Uh, wasn't the gameplay the community made up for it and the need to team up? That is the one thing that Classic should, should bring back. It might not be quite the same because, I, I, and I'm just guessing because I played after, I, you know, I started in Wrath. Um, I'm assuming that some of the things that people were interacting with each other for and teaming up for was like sharing information and that's less required because information is much more readily available online now than it was back then um but you'll still need obviously to uh to connect with people for grouping for anything so do you remember your first mount mine was the red hawk strider on my belf priest and tvc i don't Actually, kind of. I think my first mount, aside from, like, the vendor mounts, I think the first one that dropped for me, it wasn't really a rare drop. I got the Bronze Drake, which I know is a real easy one to get, but the Bronze Drake from the Caverns of Time Stratholm speedrun, I remember doing that and getting that one, and that was, like, my only special mount for a while. Favorite class is definitely Shadow Priest. That was well, I know that's a spec, but it's it's an important it's an important addendum to make because if I just say priest, you might think that I like to heal and I get very grumpy about it. Super easy, yeah, I figure. We can do it. We can do it on Friday. I need to level some pets because it's pet bonus week now, so we're getting two hundred percent more pet experience. And I actually have pets to level because I like I said I ran out of pet stones. So some of the more recent ones that I got are I've been like doing I've got a lot of them at like eleven because usually what I'll do is I'll two pet Ashley and Vishar on a character that also needs experience and that'll get them to like here so that then I can do two pet strategies that requires them to take a hit and they'll have enough health to live through that. But I want to catch all this stuff up. Not the ones that I need to sell, but I want to catch this stuff up while it's pet bonus week. So at some point I might, um, might, uh, like buy some pet treats and do some leveling. Anyone care about lore? Lots of people care about lore. There's more people that care about lore now than there have been in a long time, as far as I can tell. Um, people discuss it intently and with great seriousness, which isn't something that was a thing back in the old days. Or at least the communities that I played with were very, like, scornful of lore. It was just kind of there, but nobody, like, nobody that I knew really cared. But it's much more mainstream these days. I, uh... I think it's neat. I don't follow it super closely. First drop for me was Anixia, Drake the North Wind. Uh, do you know how to open the TSM window that shows gold gain during an instance run? I don't. That sounds like fun. How do I do that? Uh, squirt up this week? I don't know. I hate squirt leveling. I know it's good, but I don't care. <laughs> it's really boring. I would rather like do laps of um, mop tamers and warlords tamers, especially if there's a character that also needs experience. Like I take like my level 118 mage and if i go do a bunch of pet dailies those are all worth full quest worth of experience so uh i'd rather do that 
and then at least I'm seeing some different scenery rather than just like sitting in my garrison doing the same fight over and over and over again makes me want to stab my own eyes out. Ian of Arcadia, thanks for the super chat. Good morning, Hazel. Good morning. How are you doing today? I still care about the lore. They've been putting a lot of effort into it lately. Want to get into pet battles? What's the best way to start? My, well, I would imagine you'd want to look at Hazel's Beginner Guide to Pet Battles, which is a video that I did fairly recently. Um, walks you through all of the beginnings of the basics. Talks about, like, the first pets that you want to get, how to train, how to level, all that kind of stuff. Um, but the best way to start is just to get yourself some pets. Uh, in whatever way you want. You can farm pets, you can buy pets, you can catch wild pets. But you're gonna need some pets. Alright, well that's no good. No dice on that one. That's a long run. I don't think I can do that many of those in one day. If I'm if I'm trying to farm uh Elegon. Squirt set for EU tomorrow. Mm. Favorite armor set. Um that's a hard thing to pick because I don't really stick to any given one for too long. If I wore one all the time, I would just get bored of it. Um, I like the... I like the priest... If there's, like, a priest PvP set from Mop that has, like, these red wing things that only appear sometimes um, that look like the wings on that Legion boss demon. Was it a Legion boss demon? It might have been a Warlord's boss demon. I don't remember any of the names. <laughs> Not a single name. All the lords concocted after a binge drinking session. Do Pandaria exclusively for leveling? It's amazing how much experience you can get in Pandaria. I skipped it this time. I did all of... I did Kata instead of Pandaria. But, um... But yeah, if you, like, just one, and a, one or two zones will get you really, really far. Panda trainers still give full XP? Yeah. Have that transmog for priests. I'm glad somebody knows what I'm talking about because I was not very descriptive. Um, so actually, I'm gonna. Mm -mm. Do I want? I don't. I'm not gonna buy a pet charm for now, but I am going to. Well, it's supposed to be a mountain stream. I'll do. I'll do Muggish I'll do it. I'll do it one more time. We'll get one more. One more whack at Elegon in. T for beginners. Depends on if you're coming from coffee or if you're coming from not coffee. If you're coming from coffee, I would try a black tea. Get yourself like an English breakfast or an Earl Grey and try it basically however you like coffee. Um, so if you take your coffee with like cream, I would try your tea with like some milk. Uh, and then if you're not coming from coffee and you're more of like a juice person or just like a water person, then I would go with something more delicate like a green or an oolong tea and just take it straight. Uh, my Cult Iran is a level 51 Shaman. Love the Mage set from Normal and Heroic Blockrock Foundry. I just picked Mount Hyjal. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. After I discovered <laughs> Mount Hyjal as an alternative for Vashir, it's hard to get me out of it. It's just, it's very nicely, like, segmented. You know, you go here, you do XYZ, you go here, you do XYZ. And, um, also, especially early on, I feel like there's some quests that are full experience that are just kind of freebies. You know, like you go, you blow the horn in the camp and, and whatnot, and it's just real, real easy. So, Hyjal, I feel like, is pretty fast experience. Uh, are you not trying world bosses? I guess I could. I've been kind of, like, scoping out to see if Shaw of Anger is up on my way past on um, up to Mogushan Vaults. <laughs> One ZG Raptor? Check. I did get a ZG Raptor. It was, like, the first thing that happened. <laughs> Uh, what do you think about doing a mini stream but making that sweet potato sandwich you're always talking about? Uh, I don't know about that, but what I might do is if I ever do a baking stream that is like a bread product or something that really needs a rising or chilling time, I could probably multitask it and do like make lunch in the middle of also letting like bread rise or something. Cat, you want back up again? You've been up and down like three or four times already. Hello. Hi. Uh, Annette, thank you very much for the super chat. Hello from Denmark and congrats on ma'am. Thank you. Sweet potato sandwich sounds good. Uh, I'm going to make my hung myself hungry talking about this. So a I'll tell the story again. A couple of weeks ago, I really wanted a sandwich. 
and I was hangry about it. I was grumpy, I wanted a sandwich, and I didn't have really any normal sandwich ingredients around. I didn't have any, like, any tomatoes, didn't really have any spinach. And just had, I just had, like, some sweet potatoes and an onion. And I'm like, you know what? I'm making a sandwich. So I took the onion, or the sweet potato, sliced it into, like, coins, uh, tossed those in a little bit of oil, salted them, roasted them for, like, 35, 40 minutes at, like, 400 degrees. While that's happening, I diced up the onion and caramelized it. So, like, low heat, um, tiny bit of sugar and salt, uh, stovetop, stir, you know, caramelized onions. Which takes, again, like 30 to 40 minutes. So, not only was I hungry, but I was also making myself wait like an hour for the sandwich. But roasted, roasted sweet potatoes, caramelized onions, and then I toasted the ciabatta bun. We get like these really good, like really bready tasting. They're, they're delicious. Really good ciabatta bun. Toast that. Uh, put some cheese on it. Some melted little, little mozzarella, a little parmesan. And then stacked up the sandwich with the sweet potatoes. I deglazed the onions in balsamic vinegar. Kind of give them a balsamic-y, vinegary taste. And then also loaded some feta cheese onto the sandwich. And I can't remember if I had spinach or not. I might not have. It might have just been like potatoes, cheese, onions. Cheese, cheese, cheese. And uh, balsamic vinegar. And... Oh, oh, the other thing I did is I made a fake aioli. So I mixed together mayonnaise, which I usually hate. But I mixed together mayo with lemon juice, salt, pepper, and a bunch of really finely diced fresh garlic. Which tastes like a, I mean, it's, it's ghetto aioli, basically. It's just like, it's, it's, aioli special, aioli enthusiasts will ar argue with me, but it's good. And I spread that on the bottom of the bun. And that, it was, it's quite a sandwich. I actually, I could make it for lunch. It's not that much, like, actual cooking time. Also, I apparently need to try harder if I'm gonna <laughs> kill these bosses at 118. I don't know if I can do these mat runs at 110. This might be a 120 only kind of a uh, mount run. It might be annoying to do at 110. Chai tea, you're making me hungry for some sweet potatoes now. I do have the stuff in the kitchen. Maybe I'll like, if I start it at like 11, you have to stir the onions once in a while. I have some editing to do today. I failed very hard tr trying my first level cat pet battle. Some recommended starter pets. So the Dark Moon guys are hard. The Dark Moon guys are specifically the second one. Both of those are harder than normal. Um, to get better at pet battle, it's just about having like the specific pets that are called for. So for the Dark Moon fights, um, if you have the mechanical Pendar and Dragonling, he's good for both of them. But uh, starter pets will get you through easy fights. There's still some fights that you're going to want specific pets for, though. But you should be able to uh, you should be able to do um, enough fights to level more pets. Like you should be able to two pet tamers with those with whatever you have. Hopefully, like Ashley is a really good one out in um, in Shadowman Valley and Draenor because one of her pets is basically a freebie. So you should be able to two pet tamers, and this is a great week to do it because of the bonus week to level more pets. So then you could like go look up a guide for the t the fight you're stuck on, see which pets you need for that, and then level some of those. Roasted red peppers, that would be good actually. Like a roasted or like a grilled red pepper. You could even like sort of toss it in the same sort of balsamic glaze. Or like a like a honey glaze, maybe? That would be good. How long will you be live for? Uh I don't know. Probably just through the end of this run. We're probably just gonna try for Elegon. And then uh and then not worry about it too much after that. Hazel had my best mount to find a couple days ago. Went to the Dark Shore Warfront and the Frightened Kodo was there. Congrats! I was gobsmacked. That's a good good um, occasion for, for gobsmacking. Uh, Haley, thanks for the super chat. Congrats on your raptor. Love catching your stream. Thank you. Specific tea against a cold. Um, I mean, none of them are going to cure your cold. So basically the fact that you're drinking a hot liquid is going to help because you're... You're warming up your, your sinuses. It can help decongest you a little bit. Um, so any hot, clear teas. So, like, avoid teas that you want dairy with. So I would say stick with, like, herbal teas, green teas, that kind of thing. Something fairly soothing. So you get your herbal teas. Like, your chamomile tea is good. Mint tea is good. Uh, I really like honey, lemon, ginseng tea when I'm sick. That's, like, my go-to sick tea. And then you can mix in some honey if you want to both sweeten it. And honey is an antimicrobial, I want to say. I don't know. Um, it's not the worst thing to have when you're sick. Obviously, it's still sugar, so, you know, brush your teeth. But uh, 
It's uh, And it's also, I think it's soothing for your throat. Put some honey in your favorite herbal tea. Try that. I'm painting all the pets from archaeology. Are they any good? I was thinking of getting into it. Oh, uh, what are the archaeology pets? There's not that many pets that are, like, outright unusable. But I can't think... I don't think that I've used a whole lot of these on their own. But they'll do. They'll get you going. Your dog is so cute. Lemon tea is great for the throat. Congrats on the raptor. Why, thank you. Uh, you ventured past Deep Home and got the Time Lost Proto Drake. You mean the ANX Drake? Yorkshire, so Yorkshire tea is the only way to go. I had a whole big box of that I went through, actually. It was pretty good. It's pretty good for breakfast, too. Uh, I, oh, yeah. I always forget about these dudes. I did some mythic dungeons for the weekly quest, and now I have a mythic keystone, but I have no idea how mythic anything works. Okay, so the short version. Uh, for your mythic keystone, you'll need to assemble a group, either with your friends or in pubs. You go into the dungeon that your keystone says on mythic difficulty, and then when everybody's ready, you put it into that little pedestal thing that is near the beginning. It'll give you a timer, it'll apply some affixes, which are just like extra effects that happen. And depending on how high the keystone level is, the dungeon will be a certain amount harder. If it was just your first mythic, you'll probably just have a keystone plus two. So it should be pretty easy to find a group for that. And then, um, depending on how quickly you complete the dungeon, you might get a higher level keystone next time. And as the keystones get higher level, you'll have more affixes to deal with. Um, you can check to see what the effects are on any given week by... Hang on just a moment. Um, by going into your... Uh, let's see. Dungeons? Where is it? Am I dumb? I'm having a moment. I know you can see it somewhere. Maybe I'm not. Maybe it's because I'm not 120 yet. There's a tab in, I think, your, in your dungeon section where you can see what the current affixes are. You'll only have... You might not have any deal with it at plus two, actually. It might be just like a slightly harder version of the same thing. And then at the end, you'll get a chest that might contain loot. There, you won't be looting the bosses along the way. Um, but you'll get a chest that might contain loot. And then at the end of the week, based on whatever the highest key level you did, there'll be a chest that's in the... Um, There'll be a chest in your capital city that'll contain another piece of loot that's even higher item level. Wowhead probably has a write-up that makes more sense than what I just spit out, but that's the gist of it. Lawrence, I think this. Say, thanks for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Always a pleasure to see you, Hazel. Minimum wow today, as I'm preparing to see a Celtic woman concert this evening with a friend of mine. Fun! That'll be a good time. That's exciting. You're sure did they name the country after the dog? We, didn't we have that conversation recently about Newfoundland and Labrador? About whether the dogs or the province came first? <laughs> they just like really like those dogs that they're like, yeah, it's a good place to live. Oh. Ugh. Arky has been out of commission since BFA launch. Oh, no. I feel like they've added enough quality of life improvements to regular archaeology that you don't need an add-on as much as you used to. But... I also didn't use it, so maybe I'm just out of the loop. Love the explosion of achievements you get running all of Thrilled Raids. It's kind of upsetting me a little bit, because I forget that these are characters that have never done the raid. And when you get a drop, Rarity shows you a pop-up that is skinned to look like an achievement pop-up, so I keep thinking that something has dropped for me, but that's not what's happened. <laughs> if you're 120, you can see affixes on the Mythic tab. Uh, find it in the Group Finder. That's, that's what I'm thinking of. I guess I'm just, I'm not 120 in this character. Two, we'll have Fortified or Tyrannical. That's true. So on alternating weeks, you'll have to deal with either Fortified or Tyrannical. Tyrannical means that the bosses are harder, and Fortified means that the trash is harder. Um, and I think it's just like a health and damage bo bonus modifier for those things. I have terrible social anxiety, so this will be more of a war zone in my mind, really. I think that's a fairly, you know, people people are there to, people are there to, to see it, and then you're there to see it. You don't have to interact too much if you don't want to. You can just, uh... Pretend you are, I mean, this is a dumb suggestion, but I'm a streamer. I'm not supposed to have good ideas. Pretend that you are in a VR video game and they're all just NPCs. You don't got to worry about them too much. Something I used to have bad and to some extent still do. I get anxious about shopping sometimes, like going into a store by myself. And I'm afraid, I guess, that I'm going to inconvenience somebody or be in the way or like annoy somebody or just be weird and think that I'm weird. 
And um, it occurred to me, both because I worked retail for a bit, so I experienced this, and also just because it's the way things work, is they have seen so many people. They have seen people much weirder than you, and as long as you're not just, like, making a scene, which I'm sure that you're not, because I'm sure that you're not. As long as you're not, you know, throwing things and lighting anything on fire, nobody minds, you know? <laughs> They're good. They're just glad that you're not, like, vomiting on the floor, you know? The bar- <laughs> other people's bar is much lower than you think it is. Um, it's, it's the same logic that I'm using to try and be not nervous about taking, like, rideshare services, like getting into an Uber or something. Like, I'm worried about being weird and awkward, but then you see on the app this person has driven, like, 1,300 people. They probably had somebody more weird and awkward than me, and they're probably just glad that I'm not vomiting in their car. So. The ghost moose 100% flies now. That's, yes. Do you have the thundering ruby cloud serpent? I do. I have the worst food counter anxiety. I blurt out a random order and end up with some nauseating combination of food. Oh, dear. Oh, no. I'm, I don't blurt out random stuff, but I will definitely just agree to whatever they ask me and end up with weird toppings. And I'm, like, really averse to asking for something different. Like, I don't want to make it complicated to the point that I won't make requests. Like, sometimes in restaurants. I'm getting better about this, but I will order tea in a restaurant sometimes with, like, breakfast. And this, they'll usually just bring you, like, hot water with a black tea bag in it if you ask for black tea. And I always drink black tea with milk. And for a long time, I wouldn't ask for it. I would feel too embarrassed to ask for milk. So I would just drink it straight, which is not the way that I prefer to drink black tea. Um, and, uh, getting better about it. At least in places that are likely to have milk. Show some of your leveling transmog used in your Nightborn. I'm leveling a mage and have zero cloth appearances. So, on my Nightborn, I mean, I used the heritage armor as soon as I unlocked it. But before that, I was using this appearance. And you'll need an alliance character to unlock it. It's called the Robe of the Dragon Slayer. Um, this is the robe. And that is from a quest in the Blood Mist Isle. It's like the north northeastern Blood Mist Isle. So if you go to the, as an alliance character, to like the Drenai starting area, and just do as many quests as you can find, you should eventually get to the one that gives you this. It'll take some questing, but I love that robe. The top is available separately, but I don't know how you get the bottom piece of it without doing that quest. Um, also, I'm sure if you look up Robe of the Dragon Slayer on Wowhead, you'll get more detailed information about exactly which quest you need. But that was my main Nightborn leveling mog. The amount of people, really. My friend is better at managing being around people. That will be my anchor. That's really good. I feel that. I feel that. I avoid Costco for specifically that reason. If it if it's just a lot of people... Especially when I don't know what they all want, you know? And Costco people are going in every direction. Some of them are trying to give me samples. I don't... I'm... I need help. But when people offer me free stuff, freaks me right out. I... I once cried at a Ren Fair when a nice vendor offered me a cookie. I think he thought that I was challenged, which I suppose I am, because I cried when he offered me a cookie. You know, that's just indisputable fact. But, like... Sample, sample vendors offering samples. I don't know why they make me so uncomfortable, but they do. Like, I don't want to eat it. Or maybe I do want to eat it, but I don't want to buy it. And I understand that's the whole point, but like, oh. I, I have problems. Um. Do you have the acid belcher? If yes, how many times before it dropped? I don't know if I have the acid belcher, actually. Um, yeah, no, that's one of the ones that I don't have. I've been meaning to go back and get it, but not very seriously, obviously, because I certainly haven't tried. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna need to... I'm just gonna pop Lust, actually, in some cooldowns. Because this character is not 120. And this is Heroic 25, so... Best to get as much damage in as we can. So that was just to kill the boss. Costco people, when Sam's Club left town, that made Costco so much worse here in Alaska. People do really like the rubs from AQ. I feel like the only reason I don't wear those more. <gasps> no way! 
All right, who called it? They have a gift. Sorry, kitty. I know. Hang on. Now you can go. Oh. You've got to be kidding. I don't believe it. That is some serious streamer luck. All right, I'm getting out of here. I spent six months trying for the Zilgarev Raptor, and now I get that and the Elegon Mountain the same. I still need comment. Oh my gosh. My word maker broke. All right, let's get on that. Oh, hang on. Am I dumb? Wait, I got Comet. Reigns of the Astral Cloud Serpent. Celestial Gift. Did I get both? Oh my god, did I get everything? I'm so confused. Hang on. Did I already learn it? You've added the Mount Astral Cloud Serpent to your collection. I definitely got it. I got that and Comet. No way. What a day. Nilsworth, thanks for the super chat. Just started watching. She gets it all. I mean, this makes it up to anybody that missed the first five minutes of the stream. I don't, I don't, I don't have any words anymore. You already learned it. You might, you should try the lottery, right? Big freaking congrats. It's your day. It must be my birthday. Like, dang. Dang. That's, that's some, some luck right there. I like that one. That's nice. Okay, so now what do we really do for Matt Run Streams? <laughs> Two farms down, what's next, right? Caroline Rose, thanks for the super chat again. Left the stream to get breakfast, came back, you got another mount, right? It's only been like an hour and 20 minutes. It's been a big morning. Olduar, <laughs> so lucky. Good luck topping that. Try the world bosses. I guess I can just like hop over real quick. I doubt it. That would be unreal. But, um, this is a hard... What? Do all the really hard grinds today, you'll get everything. I got the raptor. And I got the astral cloud serpent. Alderweire is a rough farm. It takes so long. That's kind of why I'm avoiding it. Also, I don't really want Mimron's head. Maybe that would make it more likely to drop, but it's... I don't know. It's not really my style. Can we see the pet too? Yeah, I'll pull out the pet once I once I log over here. I actually only need one more pet now for raiding with leashes. Um, and then I will have had all of them drop for me. Like I haven't bought any of them. I haven't accepted any of them. Um, I just need the Sulong pet. This calls for an extra long stream. I mean, do I need the stream extra long when everything just like happens for me in an hour? Dang. Gonna plate wear, do siege, get the shoulders and the mount. Shoulders. All right, so let's take a look at the pet. Uh, in the correct journal. I was so confused. I was having a whole moment where I was like, wait, I got the mount but not the pet. And then I thought I got the mount and the pet. And then I thought that I had confused the pet with the mount. I feel like they're meant to be together now because they're, um, because they both dropped from the same kill of Elegon. Like what? That's, that's a lot right there. LaFayre, thanks for the super chat. <laughs> Quote of the day, my word maker broke. Get the last pet and get happiness. That seems more likely. Um, then that seems more likely than a world boss map, but I should still check. Let's see if they're up anyways. Logged in just in time to hear you say that you got the astral and the raptor. It's been a heck of a day. Is your guild going crazy right now? I don't think anybody's online. It's early. They have jobs. <laughs> they do things during the day. Also, this character isn't in a guild, so maybe they were and I just logged out. Uh, hang on. I can't ride a Teldrassil hippogriff. Get out of here. Hang on. Today is not the day to be riding a Teldrassil Hippogriff. That's this stuff. I don't even mind the, like, the wooshy, the wooshy, uh, movement. This is the best Cloud Serpent. This is, like, the Jade one is nice. The Hulan one is nice. This is the best Cloud Serpent. <laughs> Gonna run it today. Hopefully your luck rubs off of me. If you get happiness today, unlock Nalik and your alts and just do the four world bosses for a while. The problem with world bosses is that they're just unreliable to find up on stream. 
Um, obviously, we have pretty good luck usually, but um, yeah, I'm gonna have to scope out a new mount run. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out what we still need. Throne of Thunder, yeah. So Throne of Thunder is an option. Um, Karazhan's an option. What else? You've inspired me to try mount runs today. Sometimes it pays off. Sometimes it pays off. You could you could watch just this stream and then just like not worry too much about the six months of streams we did before this without anything. But this one is I. Can, Carrie's my all-time favorite. You can be brave and go for Mimiron. Hyena? Um, does, I don't know if world world mount farming... I mean, I would like those mounts a lot. Hey, Shazai. I would like... Um, I would really like some of the world boss... Or the world drop mounts. Maybe we should do that. Because that's something that you guys can help with, too. Like, anybody that's around... Or at least three other people. Because you want to do it in, like, groups of four, I think. Um, people that are around can do uh like hop in the group and just like help me farm for the various bfa world mounts that might be kind of fun at least it's something that i can do for whatever amount of time i feel like i can all right no shot of anger mount it's not that good of a day i'm gonna hop over to the uh i'm gonna hop over just on this character to see if I can get um, that last Raiding with Leash's pet, because I only need one more, So, and it's like the first boss of Terrace of Endless Springs, so we, I feel like we can do that a couple times. This calls for a Mount Unlock compilation. I do have every- I have all the Firelands mounts, and I have all of the Dragon Soul mounts. Um, I don't have any of the Siege of Orgrimmar mounts, but Siege of Orgrimmar. <laughs> Uh, I have 32 attempts in the Shaw Mount. Not that many. Not that many. I only really attempted on this character, and only really when I think about it. Uh, how many tries? Elagon wasn't that many tries at all, actually. I'll have to go back and- Oh no, I won't be in the clip. It won't be in the clip. I don't know how many. Not that many. Like, less than 30. For Elagon, anyways. If you don't clip and post a video about your mount drops, I will- I will. I will post it. Will I post it today? I guess I could. I'm almost, well, I'm almost finished that mount, that pet vendor video. It's like, it's, it's, the edit has begun. It's not ended yet. I kind of want to be really extra about the titles on it. So that might take a while. I don't know. <laughs> now, now can I, you can, you can, you guys can get up whenever you like. This only happens when I'm late. Welcome, Seraphim. Uh, ran into Siege yesterday for LFR trying to get the pets. And I don't think I want to do that one solo again because it took so long. It's just a really long, long raid. Even now that you can just like blast through the bosses and whatnot, it still takes ages. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think the difficult. Well, we'll do it in normal 25. Siege is a pain. Those water bottles are my favorites. The, the camelback ones, they're awesome. I got the purple one that I use as a birthday present like a couple of years ago. And I've been drinking from them every single day since then. They're just nice because they're not, they're, well. I was going to say they're spill proof. <laughs> they're spill proof when your valve is new. But they're spill resistant anyways. And I, I'm a, I'm the queen of spilling things, so. <laughs> it's good for me. Uh, I don't have Rookmar either. That's another world boss one. Uh, I do have both of the Malagos mounts. 152 Elagon attempts. May have missed this. When did Crucible of Storms open? It isn't open yet. It's actually April 16th. So, uh, hang on. I keep double clicking my map. Uh, two weeks from now, which means I should really get my butt moving on some raid guides. <laughs> Pet farm instead of map farm. We're like 90% here for you talking anyways. I would accept that there's not that many pets that actually need like a farm. I'm really liking the idea of the world drop farms because that's still mount farming. It's just not mount runs. It's just mount farming. Plus, that would also give me green gear that I can uh, scrap for expulsive, <laughs> which would be nice. Uh, rarest mounts, the bronze drake. The stars aligned. You can work through the glory achievements on stream. 
I like doing those in Friday streams sometimes because um, I can get you guys to help me with stuff. I don't need all of them, but I do need some of the newer ones. Does it just show on the map? I have the green circle showing. Does what show on the map? How tall are you? I am 5'10". We're like 178 centimeters. Toy farms? Don't know if you need Pandaria or Wad toys. I have the Pandaria toys. I'm probably missing some of the Warlords ones, although I did farm a bunch of them. I am A toy farm wouldn't be a bad idea because I am four toys away from Brutus. After that, I can probably chill on them. But I I could really use <laughs> like a few more. I should probably focus on this before he, uh, before I lose. This is just a, a boosted character that hasn't really done a whole lot since being boosted. Which K-pop groups do you like? I listen to, like, the K-pop A-list, so, like, whatever's charting really like whatever's new and cool but the groups that i will usually listen to their albums over and over again um the nct stuff bts stuff of course and then um i really like i mean i'm interested to see what blackpink does next everybody is we're all waiting for it but i'm less of a like a single group stan and more of just like bopping to whatever's popular the new stray kids song is really good Pet out on you use again. I mentioned it once but forgot. Uh, which one? I have a couple of them. I use Rematch. I use Pet Journal Enhanced. I use Pet Tracker. My All my add-ons video shows what each one of them does. Anyone here listen to Metalcore? The calligraphy quest is random. The calligraphy quest is upsetting. <laughs> I do my very best to not do those. I tried the click to move tip that somebody left in my vlog comments and it helps when they're squares. It does not help when they're not squares. <laughs> okay, Blackpink comes back in the fifth. It's been so long. I mean, I know that's like their whole thing at this point, but it's been a, quite a while. All right. We're looking for the, what is it? Azure Windseeker? Is that what we're after? And if I don't get it here, I've got more characters I can run. I've got alts and I'm not afraid to use them, but there we go! Look at that! Sorry, Abdul. <laughs> Raining with leashes! Look at that little happiness. Just in time for me to level him during Battle Pet bonus event. What a day. And I successfully managed to not buy any of them. All of them dropped. What a lucky day. I was, I was ready to sit here and run like eight more characters through this raid, but guess I'm good. Uh, amazingly lucky day. I'm probably not going to do Legion Mythic raids. I see them in Groove Finder sometimes, but I'm not, I don't plan on doing them myself. You're extra lucky. Look at this unit. Just such a cute, such a cute little, oh, oh, my water elemental is getting jealous. <laughs> such a cute little dude. Lucky timing for me to join. I, it is about 1030. We've been going for about an hour and a half, which is our normal Tuesday morning stream time. I think I've had about all of the luck I can take for one day. <laughs> uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I will cut together the drop bits um, and try to put them out today or tomorrow. As well as another normal video. One day. Whenever it's done. <laughs> Promise I'm working on it. Appreciate your support, guys. Um, that is my dog. He is grooming himself with his tongue. He picked that up from the cat. Do I have anything else to say? Maybe not. I think I'm good. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.